So this is the bag we are making and it's just a ute bag, a sh ute shopping bag and I put some um, granny squares all around. So what I did, I made a bag of the granny squares and pushed the ute bag in and then attached it um, by making holes in the ute bag and then crocheting it into it. And then I also made a lining. The lining I will film uh, in a different video because obviously that would be um, too much for this one. But yes, I'm going to show you and tell you how to go about doing this. And I hope you enjoy this. I have chosen different colours for my second bag because I'm going to give it away as a present. And so here you can see that I used one main colour, the grey, and then I had the light blue, the light blue and the dark blue. So it's a contrast and um, so what you need for this bag is two balls of chunky grey or any other colour, your main colour, and then you need one ball of the light blue, so or your colour, and one ball of the blue, of the dark blue. Okay, so you need four balls of chunky in total, whichever colours you prefer, obviously. And you also need um, a hook number five and a half I used. If you want to do the lining of your bag, you're gonna to have to find some matching fabric. And obviously you need a ute bag. So one of those shopping bags, I've bought mine um, this one I happen to have, okay, that's why it's a taller one. I've bought one now uh, from a pound shop, it was one pound. So this is the bag I bought. It's a ute bag, it's from a pound shop, It's it was one pound basically. And it's got these handles which you can crochet around. Obviously the inside we're going to cover with a, a lining so it doesn't matter what it's like. And it has a wide bottom and a wide side as well, okay? I will post the dimensions below because that's easier than trying to tell you them, okay? So you can refer back to them. So this is my basic bag. And today I am using different colours. Look at it. It's all thrown about. I've got to sort that out and I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, so... These are the colours I chose this time. Sorry they're so dark, it's for someone who likes dark colours. So I had two balls of this. This is um, Life Chunky, so it's uh, the charcoal. This is um, one ball of the grey, and then this was one that I still had, and it was a, a variegated one, so it's sort of self-striping, and it goes from purple to grey to, to sort of reddish tints in there, so that's going to give the bag a nice um, added touch. I didn't do that in the other bag, but I thought this was a nice thing to do. So what you need um, is the following. So what I did... First of all, I started by making these from this one, from the grey one. So I made 12 of these and then I made 12 of those as well. Okay, this is the same because that's the different, um, you know, just the different colouring that comes up in that wool. And then uh, when I'd done that, I went, swapped around and then I put this round every one of them. Like, for example, here as well. And then I put the grey round there. Okay, and then I put the dark grey around all of them. So the main colour is at the end of every square. Okay, so you need 12 of these where you start with your one colour and then 12 of those where you start with the other colour. Okay, so you need 24 of these in, uh, in total. Then this... This is just a gray, dark grey one, and I made four of these for the bottom, so it's just going to be a dark bottom. And then you need um, two grey ones for each side, so you need four grey ones, and then one, and I call this the fancy one, just because I did three uh, um, colours for the side. So you need two sets of this, okay? So that's your side, 
your 24 are for the front and the back and the four are for the bottom and then what you also need is 24 of these okay these are just the middles of the granny square so they're basically four chains and then four lots of three double crochets with two chains in between each time okay so you need 24 of those and once you have those um, you can start putting things together so that's what I'm going to do now and I will show you how to put them together I have now laid out all the squares that we need for our bag so let's go and take a look at those so here we have the side and we have the six little squares on one side of the side and six on the other side and then we have our three for the side then we come to our front these are the ones for the front so there's 12 of them and I've laid them out so that it's a grey middle, a variegated middle grey, variegated grey, variegated. So it's they alternate. Okay. Then here we have the four for the bottom. We have another side here, so the same setup as before. Six, three, and six. And then here we have another front or back, <laughs> um, another 12 squares. And I've started putting them together because I was too enthusiastic. So I will show you how to do that in a moment. Now, the way you put it together, uh, just generally speaking, is I did the vertical lines first. Okay, so I'm going to do all those first. And then you can do the horizontal line all along in one go see so that saves cutting and um, you know um, start restarting now here I will include the bottom ones with this and then I will do that one and then I will show you later on how to do um, it uh, how to put it around the bag and also here you will have to do a little extra tiny bit in between but we'll come to that as well so how to put the squares together we will do that in the next video so this is the bag we are making I started with this bag and it ended up being this bag so for the next video keep watching bye thanks for watching